Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do because it's going to be a new Sephora haul. I've picked up a few new things from Sephora. I actually have two different orders here. But I'm going to run through everything that I have picked up recently. So that's what we're doing today. So I'll just go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so uh, first up, I did want to purchase the Bite Beauty Changemaker Supercharged Micellar Foundation. So I did pick this one up in my first order. I had a $25 rouge um, bonus whatever gift card thing that is that Sephora does every once in a while and if you're quick enough you can snag it so I got another $25 one so I applied it towards the foundation which was a $39.50 I do have a video with my first impression and I also have a wear test with this foundation already up on my channel I will link that one down below it is the foundation that I have on today and I did film a lot of this um, face makeup look for my Instagram using the Tati Beauty Blendiful I do actually have a video here on YouTube as well doing a full face of cream products with the Blendiful but I did another one also for Instagram and I wanted to use the Bite Beauty Changemaker supercharged micellar foundation that's quite a mouthful uh, i'm still really liking it from the time that i did my first impression i still think that it's really natural looking on the skin it seems to hold up pretty well so so far my first opinions um, that I did in that wear test video really haven't changed. It's still working out really well for me. For my hauls, whenever I do a haul, I'll come back to review everything after I've tried everything out really well. But this is, what, my third time, third or fourth time now wearing this foundation. And so far, I am still enjoying it. So that was one order. And in that order, I also did grab, I think this was a... It was either a bonus offer or a 100 point perk, but this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the eye primer. Um, so just the eye primer. So I just got a little mini of this. I have used it twice now. I used it today. Um, I've used it earlier in the week as well. And I don't know what I think about this. Have you guys tried this eye primer? It is very, like you need the tiniest amount. The first time that I used it, I squeezed out what I would normally do when using like um, the Morphe eye primer or the Revlon eye primer that is in more of this like squeeze tube type packaging and it was way too much like it was way too much and so today when I was using it I placed like the smallest dot onto my brush to run it on my eyelids and still even though I did this tiny little dot it still was more than enough for both of my eyelids which was crazy it is pretty white and it seems to dry pretty quickly like when i first put it on my eyelid i thought it was very liquidy but when i actually started to blend it out it seemed to dry down very quickly and i have really dry eyelids right now i'm in iowa it's, it's freezing um i kind of deal with dehydrated skin but i can definitely get dry patches like especially on my under eyes or my eyelids get very dry and i noticed that it was kind of hard to lay down Found, or to lay down eyeshadow while using this primer because I feel like it's drying out my eyelids and I also feel like it's kind of irritating them because when I wore this the other day I woke up with the feeling of almost like I still had something on my eyes and I could tell I had a bit of puffiness around my eye area and today when I was doing my eye makeup earlier I've had this eye makeup on for several hours before I even put lashes on because I do have false lashes on before I even put lashes on, it almost felt like my eyes were sticky. Like it was almost like my lashes felt like they were sticking together and it was just kind of bizarre and I kept finding myself like picking at my lashes and I'm like, what is this feeling? And I'm wondering if it's the eye primer. So obviously I'm going to be removing my makeup tonight. I can put in a pinned comment if I felt like I still had that eye irritation, especially in the next morning, because maybe something in here is bothering me so it says a water resistance eye primer and light colored base that creates the perfect canvas for matte and shimmer eyeshadows and pressed pigments i don't know man i might have to look at the ingredients a little bit closer on this one and see if there's any like possible irritants i do have pretty sensitive eyes there are certain eyeshadow formulas that can bother me there are certain mascaras that can bother me so maybe there's just something in here that's kind of bugging me but it was weird when i used it again today and i could already seem to notice that like something was going on and then I put lashes on on top of it and I'm like 
this is going to be very interesting. Okay, so that was my first order. I was really just, you know, I was really curious to pick up that Bite Beauty foundation. A lot of people said that they wanted to see it, so I wanted to get that review and wear test up, and then I grabbed that um, Anastasia little bonus there. And then there was a few other items that I had on my loves list. I was waiting to become available, but I'm someone, I'm a deal chaser. I was talking about this in my Will I Buy It video. I really wanted to wait until I would have some sort of incentive, because like I said, I had the $25 Rouge, uh, like, credit or whatever I don't even know what you call those things but I had that for the foundation so I was like <laughs> what to do what to do and I waited and I waited and finally uh, Ebates or they're now Rakuten became 8% cash back at Sephora and I placed an order that day because it, you just get 8% cash back on your order and for me it's kind of like you eventually get the cash back you get them like every quarter through Ebates this video is not sponsored but that's that's why I placed this order and I kind of take it as like that's money off my order so that's why I went ahead and did it and I got to the 8% off because there was a few items that I really wanted to try but one of them in particular is a pretty expensive product and I, I really wanted some sort of incentive, okay? This is from Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil. I was chatting about this in one of my recent videos and I said this is definitely a Kathleen Lights Made Me Buy It. I could probably do an updated video on Kathleen Lights Made Me Buy It and I think I've already done two here on YouTube. This has the very fancy pat packaging like so and i picked up the shade contour this is the one that kathleen really recommended but it it seemed like something that i like it, it seemed like a lip pencil that i would also enjoy this is pat mcgrath lip liner in contour oh yeah see i think i'm gonna like that shade yeah and it felt nice it felt nice and nice and creamy nice and smooth when i was doing a swatch of it so I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna see what I think about it. You guys know I really love Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. I've purchased several myself. I'm a big fan of them. So we will see if I like these more. And then I saw Kathleen say in one of her recent videos, cause I, I had put on Twitter that I was thinking about buying one of these cause Kathleen loves it. Like could anyone else recommend it? And um, another person wrote in and was like, she still really loves her Charlotte Tilbury. And I was like, me too. So I saw Kathleen actually do a haul recently where she bought Charlotte Tilbury lip liners and she referenced that Twitter conversation. And I wrote in the comments, I was like, I think that was me. <laughs> you know, I felt very, I felt very cool about that. So we're gonna give it a shot. I'm really excited to try it out, but again, that's a very pricey lip liner, so like, let's hope we like it. Okay, the lipstick that I mentioned, this is from Lawless Beauty. So Lawless Beauty just recently came out with satin cream lipsticks, or this says classic cream lipstick, and they have a satin finish. These were $28. When I talked about them in my Will I Buy It video, that's the series I do every Wednesday where I talk over the new makeup releases, kind of talk over what I'm planning to get or pass over. I mentioned these lipsticks and I was like, I'm probably going to pick up a shade or two. I really like Lawless Beauty. I purchase a lot from the brand and I seem to like a lot from them also so you know encourages me to keep purchasing from them which is great and i was like their liquid lipsticks are 25 dollars, which is pretty high so i'm assuming it's, it's going to be in like the 20 25 dollar price range these are 28 so a little bit higher than i was thinking so once again i was really trying to wait for i was like maybe a sephora you know all of a sudden like they'll just give me 20 percent off for whatever reason so the eight percent i took it uh and so i decided to just get one shade because again, it's a new formula. I don't know if I'm going to love it. Why not just try out one shade first, see what I think of it, and then if I want, I can purchase more. And I decided to grab the shade Fawn. Fawn is described as a warm honey nude, and I don't know, I was seeing people do lip swatches of it, and I felt like this was the one that I gravitated towards the most. So, um, really nice, sleek, black packaging on this, and then... You can see that Lawless is on the side of the lipstick here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a swatch. And I figured that this would go well. Yeah, I think it'll go really well with the um, contour lip liner from Pat McGrath. This looks really beautiful. It's actually not maybe as... I thought it might be a, a little bit more brown, but it's a little bit lighter and I kind of like it off the bat. It reminds me a little bit of Bite Beauty Honeycomb. So um, fingers crossed, I'll try it out. We'll see what we think. Do you guys want to see maybe a full face of some of the products that I've hauled recently here from Sephora? Or there are a few things at Ulta too that I'm planning to pick up and I just got a 20% mailer sent to me. So there might also be an Ulta haul. And then we have the beauty lish bag i just feel like there's a lot coming out right now that i'm super interested in so there's that but let me know if you would like to see like a full like get ready with me with some of these products but i'm really curious so far i really like that swatch of fawn from lawless beauty 
And then one item that I really wanted to get, this was kind of what I was waiting to come in stock. Like a lot of times if new makeup is released, Sephora will have a page for it, but it'll just say like coming soon, but you can add it to your loves list. That's super helpful for me. I use my loves list, I use my loves list all of the time to just kind of help keep, cause you know, there's so much makeup coming out and then you forget something and then you place an order and you're like, Oh no, I really wanted that. So I definitely use my loves list. And especially when I'm filling out the description box of my, will I buy it videos? If something is at Sephora, but it's not available yet, I still just go ahead and put it on my loves list. So I don't forget. And that was the Fenty beauty mascara. And actually when I went to make this purchase, you could get it as the bonus offer. So I typed in like Fenty lash into the promo codes and then you could get a like little sample guy of it. So I decided to go for that instead of just buying the full size mascara, which I think was in the $20 range. So I got uh, a little mini here, but I think this will be a great way to test it out. Will I want to buy the full size mascara? I definitely don't mind purchasing minis of anything. Makeup, skincare, doesn't matter. Love minis. But definitely with mascaras because they're one of our makeup items that you need to you know they expire quickly you need to move them through your collection quickly so instead of just having a bajillion full-size mascaras laying around like why not give something a shot and see what we think of it so this is a really tiny little guy so we'll see how many uses i can get out of it but this is the full frontal volume lift and curl mascara it says all out volume eye opening lift and curl ultimate long wear exclusive flat to fat brush so it says the fat surface loads and lifts and then the flat side defines and curls so this here oh yeah this is this is interesting so it's really flat on this side and then I don't know what I was saying. I actually thought it was going to look a little bit different, but I thought it was going to be maybe more like the Benefit Roller Lash where it definitely has a different shape to it. But okay, we'll go ahead and see. We'll try it out again. I got it as the bonus offer and I'm excited to test it out and see what I think about it. Um, I like that the packaging is still, you know, kind of reminiscent of what the full size would be too. So curious about this and I figured might as well go ahead and do it instead of getting that full size. And then to finish it off, I have a couple different skincare products that I wanted to grab. I mentioned in my brands I want to try in 2020, I did it in a top five, bottom five format. Five brands that like I really think I'm going to try that I'm really most interested in. And then five brands that I'm interested in, but I'm like realistically, I'm probably not going to try them. And I mentioned Youth to the People in my top five. And so many of you recommended this cleanser. In that video, a lot of you recommended the cleanser in my skincare video where I was talking over some of my skincare favorites. So I decided to go for it. So this is from Youth to the People, their Superfood Cleanser face, face Wash. It says Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. They have a full size, which I think was in the 30s, and then they also have a mini size, which I believe this was only $10. And I was like, give me that mini. And I actually had the full size in my cart for a second, and I was already... Like I'd already done my PayPal, I'd added my samples, had my bonus offer in there, and I was looking at the final order and I was like, wait, 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 I thought that cleanser was so much cheaper and I had the full size in there. And again, I love minis. It's a great, you know, it's a great way to test something out, especially skincare. You can see if your skin reacts well with it, if it, you know, seems like something that's going to work well for you. So it says, start here for healthy skin. This nutrient rich gel is loaded with cold pressed superfood extracts from kale and spinach to effectively cleanse skin, remove buildup in pores and balance pH without drying. So this guy is two fluid ounces. I still feel like this is a lot of product. I'm going to be able to get a lot of use, uses out of this to see what I think, to see if I would want to purchase the full size. So I thought that was a pretty great price. I'm not going to lie. Um, so I'm excited to try this one out. So thank you for all of your recommendations. It says 100% vegan ingredients, no animal testing, made in California, free of parabens, sulfates, phthalates, um, silicones, artificial colors. Okay, perfect. So really excited to try that out. And then one more skincare product. And again, a lot of you have recommended The Ordinary to me. They are a really affordable skincare brand, but you can find them at Sephora. And I decided to go with the Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1% High Strength Vitamin and Mineral Blemish Formula. I've also seen Kelly Gooch haul this too. And I know that she really likes a lot of products from The Ordinary. And I was really trying to find something with 
uh, niacinamide to add to my skincare collection. So just kind of real quickly, um, niacinamide, it says, also known as B3, it's a water-soluble vitamin that works with natural substances in your skin to help visibly minimize enlarged pores, tighten lax pores, improve uneven skin tone, soften fine lines and wrinkles, diminish dullness, and strengthen a weakened surface. A lot of people have recommended niacinamide, and I don't have a lot of skincare products with this particular ingredient so i was really looking for something and this is one fluid ounce and i believe it was five dollars and ninety cents and then reading about this one in particular it says purified dull and congested skin harnessing the powers of advanced science and high concentration of vitamins and minerals the lightweight serum infuses skin with an intense dose of niacinamide or vitamin b3 which is proven to minimize the look of blemishes and discoloration so i've had a lot more breakouts as i've had more dehydrated skin i've had a lot more breakouts and congested areas, um, uh, more irritated skin. So I'm really curious to give this a try. Again, a lot of you recommended The Ordinary, and in particular, I also saw niacinamide being recommended. Figured for the price, that was pretty good to be able to try this out. So I will probably start by trying it in the morning as my serum and see what we think about it but um yeah i'll definitely let you guys know what i'm thinking have you guys tried this one do you have other products from the ordinary i thought about grabbing a few more because again they're very inexpensive but i figured i already have a cleanser and then a new serum i don't like to change up my skincare routine super frequently and just constantly be introducing new products because that's also not really great for your skin so i figured i could start with these two go from there and see what we're thinking but other than that that is everything for my latest technically two sephora hauls i hope that you guys enjoyed seeing what i got i know my hauls are never usually very massive let me know if you would like a get ready with me or if you would like to see an ulta haul as well because there's quite a few products available at ulta that i am curious about but if you guys did enjoy this one if you do like the hauls please make sure to give this one a thumbs up i hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and i will see you in my next video bye